Hey, and welcome back to our course on creating a WordPress website from scratch, where I take you through the entire journey of creating a WordPress website, uh, starting with nothing at all, not even an idea, to a finished site with hundreds of blog posts, hundreds of AI images, hundreds of product roundups, hundreds of affiliate links. We, we go through the entire journey of that. So if you're just joining us, don't watch this video. This video won't help you. You need to start at the beginning. In the description below, the, the, the links to all the videos. And this course is completely free. I'm not charging anything for it. So it's worth your while to go back and watch that first video. I'll teach you how to choose a niche. I'll teach you how to find some keywords, how to cluster those keywords, how to turn those into blog post titles. I'll teach you how to find a host, how to set up WordPress, how to choose a domain how to install a theme, how to install a block builder, how to design a professionally looking uh, homepage like this, how to configure everything, and then also upload blog posts with AI images that look professional, take you through the entire journey, show you exactly step-by-step -step how to do it. So stop watching now, go watch that first video. But if you're returning from the previous videos, thank you for following along and we're in the home stretch. This video, we are going to set up email and then next video, we're going to set up Pinterest and then we will be done. So with email, what I want you to do is open up uh, your, you need your site open and then you need Cloudways open and you also need uh, Cloudflare. And, and there's different stages that you'll want to go through depending on what your goals are, right? Maybe you don't want email on your site. You just want a contact form. Hey, that's fine. Or maybe you just want one forwarding email. We can do that too. I'll take you through the three, I guess the three different stages that we can reach and, and you might want to stop at stage one or something. So the first thing that you need on your site is an actual contact form. We have a contact page we created, but we need to make an actual like a, a place to collect those contact requests. So what we're going to do is go to plugins and add new plugin. Now this is a free plugin we're going to use, although they have a paid version of it. I've never used the free version. So let's see if we can accomplish what we want with the free version. And we will type in fluent form. And you'll see this contact form plugin has 400,000 installs. Yeah, you want to install this. So we're going to install it and then we'll activate it. And let's see here. Where did it go? Fluent forms. That's where it is. Forms. And there is a, we don't need a subscription form. Let's delete that. The contact form. So this is what we want. We're going to copy this short code right here. Just click it and it copies to your clipboard. And we're going to open up a new window to pages. All right, a new tab and find your contact form and click edit and just paste this in there. It makes this little short code box. Click save and we will view the page. Now we have a contact form. How easy is that? Now, there's a couple things we need to do. First of all, we need to prevent spammers from spamming. So we're going to remember we attached HCAPTCHA. We're going to attach it now to this contact form. You can do it one of two places. You can go into Fluent Forms itself and click on Global Settings and Security, and you can actually do a reCAPTCHA or an HCAPTCHA or Turn Style. Uh, you can enter your stuff here, or you can just go to the HCAPTCHA plugin and click on Integrations, and then just click this box and Save Settings. So HCAPTCHA integrates automatically with a lot of different plugins. It's very easy. Now, if we were to go back to our contact page and refresh, we would not see this. Reason is because we enabled the, the setting in here to not display it when logged in. So if we were to open up a, a private tab and now load it, we should see our HCAPTCHA. Now let's test out a submission. Let's say Matt test email at matt.com. That's just a fake email test. I am human. So we got to click on all of the samples that match all of the samples that match. Then finally, we can submit the form. Thank you for the message. We'll get in touch shortly. So if we go back over here to Fluent Forms and we click on Entries, we should now see, now I, I did a test entry off camera, right? But we should now see this unread. So it says unread, right? We can view it. So here's the IP address. Here's where it originated from. Yeah, I, was, I was not logged in. Here's a message. So. This is a, a very powerful form plugin. You, you can do all kinds of things. There's integrations you can do if you get the pro version. I have a link in the description if you want to get the pro version, but there's all kinds of things you can do like notifications. You can put stuff on Google Sheets. Someone makes a submission, it goes to Google Sheets. All, there's webhooks. There's all kinds of integrations in here. Absolutely fantastic plugin. So you could stop right there and you could be like, you know what? 
like for me personally, I, what, what do I need somebody to email me about this site for? I'm not providing support for this site or something. So I could totally stop right there. I don't even need to hook up email if, if I don't want to. But if you do want some type of a professional looking email, then we can go to the second stage, the second step. So we have this form so people can now come to our site. Google can come to our site and see that we actually have a way to contact us. So that's one way. The next thing we can do is we can go over here to Cloudflare and we can click on email over here and your email routing area might look different than mine, but you want to try to find a way that you can get over to, to settings because the whole goal is we need to enable routing on our domain. So let's see, we're missing this setup on our domain. There's a way in here to auto add that. Yeah, fixed records. And it's going to ask us if we want to add these records to our domain. So we're going to add records and enable. Now, if we were to, let me open a new tab over here, DNS. If we were to go to our DNS for this domain, now we can see that we have these MX records, which are mail records. So now we can enable forwarding. So what we're going to do is let's go over here to the destination addresses and we're going to click add destination address. And we're going to say support at designeraffair.com. We're going to save. Then you'll want to come over here to routing rules and create a custom routing address. So this will allow someone to email this address right here, support at designeraffair.com. And Cloudflare will forward the address to whatever address you want. So like a private email or Gmail or whatever. On the free plan of Cloudflare, I think you can do one forwarding address per domain. So I already added it, but I don't think I confirmed it. So let me see if I can save this. And pending verification. So it sent me a, a verification. Let me check on my other computer right here. I verified it. Now let me refresh this page. So cool, it's active now. So now this is like the second stage. So the first stage is someone can just go to my contact form and contact me, but I won't be notified of that. I'd have to log in uh, unless of course I attach, like I pay for the paid version of, of Fluent Forms. And then I link this up to uh, Google Sheets or something like that, or some kind of integration to, to notify me. The second stage would then be uh, doing what we just did and making these, adding these DNS records and then adding this forwarding email support at Designer Affair to forward here. That's the second stage. Now the third stage would actually be setting up an email um, SMTP server on here. And this can sound a little tricky, but it's not very hard. So let's try to do that right now. I don't claim to be an expert on this process, but I know my way around a little bit. So we'll, we'll add a new plugin and we're going to search for Fluent SMTP. This Fluent stuff, Fluent Forms, Fluent SMTP, Fluent Snippets, it's all made by the same company, WP Manage Ninja, great company. So we're going to install now and we're going to activate this. So configure Fluent SMTP. So Fluent SMTP allows you to connect to various service providers that you have, Mailgun, SendGrid, or whatever. You can also connect to Amazon uh, SES, which is incredibly inexpensive. And that's all beyond the scope of this video. But if you're doing a mailing list, like my mailing list for ranking tactics is all done with Amazon SES. So I have like over 10,000 subscribers and it doesn't cost me anything if I don't email them. Whereas some other CRMs are going to charge you uh, per month, regardless of whether you're sending any emails or not. So I love Amazon, although if you want to talk about a technical hurdle setting that up, that's a little hard. But what we're going to do is we're going to actually set up Elastic Email. That's the provider we're going to use here, right? And Elastic Email is something that's provided by Cloudways. So if you log into Cloudways and you scroll down to, to find your server first, and you scroll down on your server to SMTP, you can select Elastic Email and you can enable it. Now you might not be able to select this right off the bat. I have another Cloudway server and I've already set up Elastic Email. You might not be able to do that right off the bat and that just adds it to the server. We have not actually added it to our domains yet, but you first have to add it to the server. But before you can add it to the server, you most likely have to come over here and click on extensions. Okay, and as we scroll down, there is this Elastic Email. And so what you can do is you can buy a certain number of, where is this? There we go. You can say, I want to buy, how many did I buy? Like 15,000. 15, probably paying way too much. 
you can buy 15,000 emails for $1.40 a month. So from for all of my servers on Cloudways, all of my servers, I can send up to 15,000 15, emails a month for $1.40. That's a great deal. Now, this is useful because we can have our contact forms, like Fluent Forms, actually email us now when we get a contact, when we get a message. Before, it wouldn't. It would just sit on our server unless we connect to some kind of integration like Google Docs or something like that, or Google Sheets or something. So I subscribe to this. You can subscribe to something a lot less, like 1,000 emails for 10 cents. I'm, I haven't even used a lot. I'm not even using it because no one's going to be emailing me on my designer affair site. I don't get any ideas. You need to get your API key. So you subscribe to this. And then I think before you can get your API key, you have to configure a domain. So we'll go to this domain thing and you can read the directions and it walks you through the entire process. You have to first select the number of emails you want. And then you have to bind elastic email to the server, which, which we just did. Then you got to verify your domain. Now, the first thing we have to add is this SPF record. The, there's a little rub here. If you don't pay attention to this, then it won't work. A domain can only have one SPF record. Now, you can have multiple servers in the, uh, the SPF record, but you can only have one SPF record in total. Right. So what I want to do is I, I want to copy this right here. Okay. Then we'll go to our DNS and you'll see that we already have an SPF record in here. Okay. So we're going to click edit. Now, if you don't, again, if you don't remember how to get here, you click on DNS, click on records. So we'll come down here and we'll click edit and we'll put right before this, right before the include our SPF from elastic email. So we have two include statements, two include colon statements, one to elastic email, one to Cloudflare. Cloudflare made this whole thing automatically, but then we added on this other statement. Very important. So we're going to click save. Got to click save. So that's the first thing we got to do. Let's go back to Elastic Email. And we need a DKIM record. So this is pretty easy. It's a text record. So we'll first copy this name right here. We'll go back to Cloudflare and we'll add a record. We're going to find text right here. We're going to paste in what we just copied. Just copied that. Let's go back here. And then we're going to copy this. Copy it. Go back and paste it in and click save. Now let's go back here and scroll down. We don't need to mess with the MX. We already have the MX records. We do not need to add this DMARC. And you can read about what this, what this DMARC all entails. We're just going to copy this one in. So we'll copy this name and we'll go over here. We'll add a record and this is going to be a text record also. Text and we'll paste this in. And then we'll go back and take this. Copy this and paste this into. Now we're done over here. Now it could take a few minutes for cloud ways to recognize this. So designer, D E S I G N R affair. I can't, I really can't. That's hard. I can't type and talk at the same time. Designer affair. I guess I can, maybe I just can't type. I got fat fingers, verify domain. We don't have the tracking yet. So let's just go back and add the tracking. So it would be the first one. Uh, this is going to be a C name record. So we'll click add record and we're going to choose C name. And this is going to be tracking and the target will be, there's the value. And then before we click save over here, we got to do something different with this tracking. I'm going to turn this on, uh, turn off the, pro the proxy status. Just turn on the, uh, the DNS only now. Let's go back and verify it on Cloudways. Verify domain. And now it works. If you, that won't work if you leave this on proxy. So that can't be proxy. So that's all good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, configure Fluent SMTP. Okay. So click on the API key, get your API key, go over to Fluent SMTP and we'll paste the API key in here. And then for our email, we're going to put in no reply at whatever your domain is designeraffair.com and this can be like support or something like that it's gonna be transactional because we're not doing a mailing list with this and we'll click save so just to confirm that everything's working we can go over here and do a test email in fluent smtp from no reply to hello at matthewzimmerman.com 
send test email and let's check it. There we go. There's our test email. So that works. So now we can come over here to Fluent Forms and click on Forms and then Settings and then Email Notifications, Add Notification, New Notification. We'll call this, um, let's just call this uh, Test. And we're going to send it to hello at matthewzimmerman.com and subject new. Actually, we can pull a variable out, subject, and then we'll, we'll say designer affair subject. And then a short code we want, where is it? All data from name, from email, and save. Fantastic. Now let's go on the front end and let's check it out. Is it site, contact, let's go to a private window. And this is from Mike, test email at gmail.com subject. Hello there, your message. Here is a test message. I am human. Click on all entities. Oh, there we go. I'm like, there's no freaking shark. I guess, you know, in Sharknado, there is a shark. There could technically be a shark. Verify. Submit form. We'll get in touch. Let's close this. Let's go over here. And let's refresh and see if we got something. Yes. I'm excited because uh, doing this on camera is a little bit hard. I'm not a pro at setting up email uh, on WordPress. We got it to work. I didn't have a lot of hurdles. This is great. So designer affair. So I know if we have 10 different sites, now we can prepend what the site name is on here. And you'll know what site is somebody contacting you from. And you'll see it's Mike Smith. And fantastic. This is exactly what we want. Perfect. We now have the three stages and you could do all three if you want to so we have a contact form and then we also have that cloudflare support at designeraffair.com where just anybody can just email and we'll get emails although if you start spamming me i will disable that <laughs> and then we have actual email set up with elastic email so Awesome. So in the next video, we're going to dive into Pinterest and do that. And that will be the last video in this course. Hey, if you've been having fun, if you've liked this, please share this series with your friends, with somebody that you think might get some enjoyment out of creating their own WordPress website. It's a lot of fun. Uh, subscribe, drop a comment. If you have a question, join the Facebook group, 13,000 members in it. Links all down below. I will see you in a few minutes.